going to be here.
do this bit. Good morning, everyone. I can take this off now. Good. How's it all going? What an interesting week it's been. An interesting week. All right, our first hymn for this morning is Tell Out My Soul, and it's on the screen. There is an introduction, so don't start singing straight away. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, 
We sentence it against you in form of word and deed, and what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in the newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We stand and say together with Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated on the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For we alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We collect prayer for the day. Eternal God, at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Grant that all who have been baptised in his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Saviour, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in the glory everlasting. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep while the wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Hear the word of the Lord. Our psalm is Psalm 29, and we'll read alternate verses. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven. Ascribe to the Lord glory and might. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The glory of God thunders the Lord upon the great waters. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes the The voice of the Lord divides the lightning flash. The voice of the Lord whirls the sands of the desert. Lord Wells, the desert of Kadesh. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as a king forever. reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verses 1 to 7. 
While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? And they replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. Hear the word of the Lord. John saw Jesus approaching him and said, This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. <laughs> the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark, chapter 1, beginning at the fourth verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, <clears throat> proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have, I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you, I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Um, I've, I've, have you noticed, I've, I've hit a point where it's actually better for me to wear glasses to read them. <laughs> Getting old sucks. There's, there's no other way to describe it. What was that? Uh, yeah, gee, thanks. I really want to be in that club. Did you ever wonder why? Why Jesus had to be baptised? Yeah. It's... Sorry? Not really, no. Oh, but that's you, Ted. Yes. That's you. Other people might. That's right, yes. And it does seem a bit strange. You know, because Jesus is, is already part of the kingdom and doesn't need to be baptised, I would have thought. It's a bit strange, but it does make sense, I promise. And particularly when we think about what was happening with John's baptism. Now, John was baptising repentance. You know what repentance is? We've talked about this before. It's turning around and turning away from your sins and going the opposite direction. So going from, from sins to being good, to being righteous. <clears throat> it's making a decision to live more in alignment with God's wishes for us. But the action of John's baptism was this, and I'm sure I've talked about this before. The believers would come out of Jerusalem down to the Jordan. They would enter the water and symbolically leaving Israel, leaving the promised land and leaving the covenant. And John would turn them around, the repentance bit, and <clears throat> baptise them back into the promised land, back into Israel and back into the covenant. It was 
a new birth back into the covenant. Now, do you know what a covenant is? Promise. Well, it's, it, it is. It contains promises, but it, it's, it's a legally binding agreement. Contract. Yeah, a contract that, that the parties agree to that states the relationships and the behaviours expected of both parties, the responsibilities and all that sort of stuff. And it is about what we promise, but it's also about what God promises. And, and for me, I, I sort of, when I first realised this, I, I, it hadn't occurred to me that God made promises that were all part of the contract as well, but of course, makes sense. Now, you know, in the covenant, the old covenant, God promises to create a nation from Abraham <coughs> and to give the, to this nation the land of Canaan, which we now know as Israel. And this covenant is re renewed and reinforced to Moses. But then with this great new intervention from God, now incarnate, now human, it's time to renew it again, but different. So the humans being baptised, we being baptised, we're giving our assent to the covenant, we're signing up. It does make sense that Jesus, divine yet human, also shows assent to the covenant through baptism. It's the signing of the contract, the covenant. Both God and human have now re-entered the covenant, well, entered the new covenant, Something new is beginning, just as something new is beginning in our reading from Genesis. Now, something new begins for us when we're baptised. And I guess for those of us who are baptised as children, it's, we, we probably don't really pick that up. And I have to admit, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit, I'm not quite sure about infant baptism. I, I can see that it's that it's valid, but I also like the idea of making that decision and experiencing the baptism and doing it properly, going under the water in the sea or something. Yeah. But something new does begin for us when we're baptised, and whilst we don't pass through the water, the uh, the waters of the Jordan now, not too sure how clean they are these days. <laughs> Not very? Okay. Probably not a good thing. Probably slightly, slightly safer than swimming in the Ganges, I'm guessing. <laughs> but we don't go into the Jordan. We don't tend to have full immersion in the Anglican Church, unfortunately. It's usually just a few drops on the forehead and from our, our font um, that I, I don't think is even big enough to mix a cake in. <laughs> um, I have talked about a bigger one and I will, I will get around to it one day. But then this water signifies for us entering into the covenant with God, becoming part of that. And in that way we are changed forever. But it's not just something internal, it's not just a change in our, in our faith, it's supposed to be something external as well. We're baptised into a life of making a difference, just as Jesus made a difference. We're baptised into action. Now what I say to all who bring their children for baptism is this, bring this child up to make a difference in the world. Bring this child up to express the faith in their actions and their words. Bring this child up to make a better world. And I say this to all. This is what we are baptised to be. This is who we are baptised to be. Being a Christian isn't all head stuff. It's what we do, how we act. Which isn't to say we're going to get it perfectly right straight off. It, it, it isn't to say we're going to get everything right. We won't. But we'll repent and we'll try better. Mm. <clears throat> you know, 
work for others, for the world in our efforts to make a difference. We're all then engaged in God's great work through Jesus to make all things new. Baptism isn't just about our faith, but about the action that springs from our faith. <clears throat> Jesus' baptism kicks off his adult ministry and the, the road to the cross and beyond. And so for us, baptism is kicking off our lives of ministry. Action can be as simple as being loving, being compassionate and, and empathetic, caring about others instead of ignoring them. This doesn't take a great effort, really. So Jesus' baptism was necessary both as a sign of the covenant, a sign of new creation, and a sign of the beginning of a time of action. Jesus' baptism kicked it all off. In our own baptism, we are joined to his purpose, his priorities, his life. We are called in his name to keep working for a just world, a peaceful world. Baptism for us is a sign of our calling to try and create a little of the kingdom of God here and now. Baptism is not just a benefit for us, it's supposed to benefit the entire world when a person is baptised. So go and be the new creations that we are. We might feel like we're old creations, but we're not. We're new. We are new creations every day. Go and be that. Go and make a difference. In the name of God. Amen.
here in our prayers. You revealed yourself to the world and kings bowed down in adoration before a baby. Open our eyes to see you today in the weak and vulnerable people of the world and in all who choose to set aside pomp and privilege. God of signs and wonders, hear your our prayer. Father God, at this time we pray for the turmoil that's going on in the United States of America. This trouble with changing leadership. Father God, we just ask for a peaceful transmission of that power. You reveal yourself to the world and a torrent filled with fear. Open our eyes to find you today in those who suffer at the hands of tyrants and in all who, channeled, who challenge past and corrupt regimes. God of signs and wonders, hear our prayer. You revealed yourself to the world and the Gentiles became heirs to your mystery. Open our eyes to find you today in those outside your church and in all who work to break down barriers of exclusion. God of signs and wonders, hear our prayer. You revealed yourself to the world and the sick are healed and the sad are comforted. Open our eyes to find you today in those who suffer in body, mind and spirit and in all who seek to alleviate the pain of others. Father God, we pray for those at this time, those who are suffering and mourning the loss of loved ones. And I think of the parting of my young brother. We pray for the medical people who reach out to heal, to nurture, and to care for those who are sick and the dying. God of signs and wonders, hear our prayer. Father God, we just pray for all those on that church prayer list. It's not being published at this time, but you know who's in the need of prayer. We pray for those and ask for guidance and comfort for them all. We think of Ellie, think of anybody else that you may like to mention now in a quiet time of prayer. God, hear our prayer. You revealed yourself to the world and we share in the promise of your glory. Open our eyes to find you today that we may neither carelessly miss nor willfully ignore your presence among us. We pray for our clergy, we pray for our Archbishop, Archbishop Philip, we pray for our Bishop Kate, and we pray for Father Ken and Reverend Jane as they minister your word to us here in this place. And we pray for ourselves that we may also be good ministers and actors of your faith. May we, like the sage of old, read the signs of your coming Follow your light and be drawn into adoration in your presence. God of signs and wonders, hear our prayer.
Dizzy, you in. Sit down now, if you Spirit, you are the one true God from everlasting to everlasting. At the dawn of time, you wrought from nothing a universe of beauty and splendor, bringing life from darkness and order from chaos. You formed us, male and female, in your image and endowed us with creative power. We turned away from you, but you did not abandon us. You called us by name and searched us out, making a covenant of mercy giving the law and teaching justice by the prophets. And so we praise you, joining with your faithful people of every time and place, singing the eternal song. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, every word of our full of your glory, has our in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, has our in the highest. When the fullness of time was come, you sent your Son to be born of Mary, bright image of your glory. He learnt obedience to you in all things, even to death on a cross, breaking the power of evil, freeing us from sin, and putting death to flight. <clears throat> you raised him from death, exalting him to glory, and the new day dawned. On the night he was betrayed, your son Jesus Christ shared food with his friends, his companions on the way. While at table, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and giving it to them, said, Take, eat, this is my body. <clears throat> he took a cup of wine. And giving thanks, he gave it to them and said, This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, living God, as we obey his command, we remember his life of obedience to you, his suffering and death, his resurrection and exaltation, and his promise to be with us forever. With this bread and this cup, we celebrate his saving death until he comes. Accept, we pray, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and our celebration. That all who eat and drink at this table, may be strengthened by Christ's body and blood to serve you in the world. As one body and one holy people, 
May we proclaim the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory is yours, eternal God, now and forever. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, all the world share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bear of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
living God, and this holy meal you fill us with new hope. May the power of your love, which we have known in word and sacrament, continue your saving work among us, give us courage for our pilgrimage, and bring us to the joys you promise. We say together, Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, good morning again, everyone. How are you going? It's about to get hot, um, so enjoy it. It's not going to last. It will get cold again, I'm sure. It's been a very weird week of weather, a couple of weeks, really. Anyway, um, if you weren't able to check in with the QR code set up before you came in, you can do so on the way out. Um, it's once we get you sort of refined, it's just a little bit tricky. I got caught out a bit too, with it too because it made me download another app. Anyway, uh, are there any notices? Anyone? Ah, Louisa. Australia. Oh, Australia Day. Sorry. Now, what? What? Now I've got to read it off my phone. Um, okay, so Australia Day. Um, which unfortunately will be in Adelaide for, but hope, well, hopefully if the ball doesn't show, you just <laughs> then, God, God willing, we will be in Adelaide. Um, so the Australia Day breakfast, 9 a.m. on Australia Day, um, after the flag is raised, so long as the flag pole is working. If it does, we'll, we'll put it on something, hang it out in front, it'll be right. We could all take turns in wearing it or whatever, I don't know. No, I actually find it a bit sacrilegious. Put the flag up and put it up, that's it. Anyway, so um, after the flag is raised, and uh, there'll be egg, sausages and bread. Okay, so good vegan food. I'm sure, look, I'm, I'm sure you can let us know if there are any um, dietary requirements uh, let Louisa or Miguel or David or someone else know, someone from Paris Council, actually that's pretty much it really. And Shireen, yeah. Let them know and we'll make, make uh, provisions. So, and just turn up between 9 and 11 a.m. So any time between that or come at the beginning and... What's the flag going out the door? A flag? At door? <laughs> oh no! Oh, do you have a flag on? It's not going out the door. It's not going out the door. I'm a rookie man and the flag goes out that door. Yeah, no. The door doesn't have to go out the door. The door would prefer it going up at nine, not at the door. Yeah. Um, I, I think we'll, we'll do it at nine o'clock. Do it at nine o'clock. Alright. So I don't think there are any the notices. Um, oh, hello to everyone at home. We're, we're trying it. another way of live streaming this week using the camera and stuff. Hope it's worked. And uh, just um, keep in mind, everyone, that, that we are recording at the 8:30, or we are streaming at the 8:30. So don't say anything bad about anyone, right? <laughs> or um, yeah, you might get in trouble. All right. Good to have you here. Have a wonderful week. Pray for the. Uh, I guess for us, the situation in America, it's, um, it's got quite nasty, and um, hopefully things will settle. Now, our final song. Um, our final one is this one. Um. 